guys, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing a room tour. Now, I know these style of videos are definitely not in right now. It's a thing of the past, so 2015. But I just really love these videos, and I honestly just feel like filming one because I love my room, and maybe I could give you guys some inspiration. I just find these videos interesting because everyone has a different style, and everyone's room has a different layout for the most part. So it's really cool to see how different people decorate their rooms and have their furniture set up. Just a quick little disclaimer slash rant before I get into this video, not that it's gonna get a lot of views or whatever, but it's one of my biggest pet peeves. I know it's like a bandwagon hate type of thing, but I just hate it when people assume just because you have like something nice or put together that it was automatically handed to you and you didn't work for it. To get my room like this took me a couple of years between money being a problem and also just finding my personal style that I like. There's this thing called having a job. I know it's a crazy concept. But again, not even that I'm like bragging or it's some huge crazy thing that I even have a job. It's a normal thing, I'm 21. So rant over, all jokes aside, let's just get into the video. This is what you see when you first walk into my room. Here's the overall layout. This is the back of my door and the entry to my closet. Again, just ignore my doors, they're really bad. Also, my woodwork needs to be done. I'm probably gonna paint that now that I have time with this whole quarantine thing. I got this at Burlington for like, I think five bucks and these actually came gold, but I spray painted them in metallic -y chrome color. This is the inside of my closet. So that is my workbook bag, nothing interesting. And then we have this. 12 set of drawers from ikea um i will link it down below i think it was about like 400 dollars. it comes in two pieces i know it's expensive but it holds all my clothes so that works out perfectly here i have a picture of my boyfriend i got the holder from hobby lobby then i have this little thing it's actually meant for the bathroom i got this at kohl's but i love marble so i just got that with my 30 percent off and i have all my perfumes on it I have this Christmas tree that I literally had for so many years. It's bent, you can see. <laughs> I got that from Hobby Lobby as well. And then I have my cute little Bible here that I love to read. Then we have my hamper in this small space and also my plug to my lights go back there. The lights wrap all the way around my room. As you can obviously tell, I'm a very neutral person. I like bright, light grays and whites. With the pop of the pastel pink, that's what I find that my style is. I just like that the best, especially over the years, that's what I found. I have these cute little pastel pink bulb lights that I got at Five Below, and they do work. I just don't have them plugged in right now. My pillowcases are from Five Below. My bedding set is from Kohl's. And my sheets are from Kohl's as well. They're jersey sheets, which are super soft and stretchy, and they last a really long time. This blanket I got at Marshall's. I think it was like $10. Super soft and nice. Just adds a cute little... I, can't, I was gonna say adds a cute little touch of color. <laughs> I just like it for the decoration. And then I have my white fuzzy pillow that I got from Hobby Lobby. Those are like my top three stores I like to go to. Anything that has to do with like the Marshall's. TJ Maxx, those types of things, along with Kohl's and then Hobby Lobby. They're always having sales and really good coupons. My actual headboard is from Amazon. I'll link it down below if I can find it. It was the cheapest one that I could find and it looks really nice, simple, and modern. And I don't have the matching bed frame for it. So I just have this bed skirt and under it is just like a simple metal bed frame. Here I have a hanging full body size mirror that I got from Ikea for $9.99. A little basket that I got from Five Below with some blankets in it. Oh, and this by the way, isn't a stuffed animal. I get really, really bad cramps because I have endometriosis. And that you can put in the microwave and heat up and it really helps. So if you're dealing with really bad cramps, I really highly recommend getting one of those. You just throw it in the microwave and bam. Panning down for my TV, I have this nine cube organizer that I got from Target. I believe it was like $30 or something like that. The walkway from my bed to my wall is narrow as it is. So I had to find a really narrow piece of furniture 
something that was functional and could hold a lot of things, but also obviously fit there and looked cute as well. I got this during the summer annual sale. And then I have this little mini fridge. I actually got this for a steal. Usually these are like 50 plus dollars, but on Black Friday, Walmart was having a sale for $20. So I got this mini fridge and I just like to keep some mini Fiji waters in there. Sometimes I do like to feel bougie. Um, and then I just have my PlayStation headset down here to go along with my PlayStation. And honestly, the only game that I really play is Gang Beasts and Fortnite. So I'm not like a crazy gamer, but when I do play, I play for hours. And by the way, I'm thinking about posting Fortnite content. So comment down below if that's something that you'd be interested in. Next for the decor, we have this little hourglass that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then we have this marble coaster that it's actually a candle lid to a Bath and Body Works candle, but I just put it here because I think it's really cute. And again, I love marble. Lastly on here, we have this little cute organizer that I got from Burlington for like $3.99 or something like that. This is actually supposed to be a desk. It's the smaller version of the desk Mickey from Ikea, but I really wanted a vanity here. I didn't want a desk. I wanted something to hold all my beauty products that I use on the daily. And all those beauty gurus, you know, they have the super long table from Ikea, I'll insert a picture, and they have the mirror with the lights, right? But that vanity table is way too long to fit here. So I saw this desk and I was like, ooh, that looks really good. It's like a small version of it. So I just bought that. I think it was like $50 from Ikea. Everything will be linked down below again. But I got the mirror from Ikea as well. That was $20. And the lights were pretty pricey. They were $50 a piece, but it's totally worth it. I love the whole look and vibe it has. We have this little mirror that I got from Ikea as well. I think it was like $3.99 or something. And then we have this that I got from Hobby Lobby for really cheap. And this that I got from Burlington. And here we have all my products that I use on the daily. So it's really effective. I really recommend getting the small Mickey desk if you have a small room, not saying that I have a small room, but if you don't have a room that can fit the large size one. The chair is from Ikea as well. This cute little garland piece fits perfectly side to side here. I actually used to have curtains hanging. That's why those curtain rod holders are there but I took it down because I like a more open, simple look. And I found this garland and I was like, wow, it measures perfectly, so let me get it. And it fits perfectly and goes with my theme. Great, so I got that from Hobby Lobby. Coming to an end, it took me forever to find a little table for here that like matched my room theme and fit there good. Um, Cause a traditional nightstand would not look right there. It'd be too bulky and it would clash. So this is just the perfect little nightstand. It's black rods with a marble top. And I got that from Marshalls for, I believe $40. And then I just have a champagne toast candle burning here. Bath and Body Works candles are the best. So lastly, here's another cube organizer that I got from Target. It's actually two pieces. It's three and three, but we glued them on top of each other. You actually can stack them like that. Here I have more beauty products, but it's more of like lotions and perfumes and stuff like that, stuff that I really wouldn't put in a vanity. Here I have my little Polaroid camera and my AirPods. Then we have a mini Kate Spade purse. It's perfect for every day. I love Kate Spade. We have a notebook and a planner that I got from Burlington with an empty iPhone box. It's actually my old iPhone, but I kept it because it's like the pastel rose gold pink. And then we have a watch on top. I think I got that at Kohl's. We have a Kate Spade organizer. If you can't tell, yes, Kate Spade is my favorite designer. I got this from Marshalls and it was on clearance for $7.99, I think. And it was original 30 or something like that. And lastly, the only pop of color in my room, we have a fake plant that I got from Burlington. So that was it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope you like my room. Comment down below what your favorite part of my room is and if you like my style slash decor. Also in the comments, I'm really interested to see what your guys' style is. So comment down below how your room looks. That was it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.